their budding friendship soured after a promising start in 2009. And in a new teaser clip for her upcoming documentary, Lady Gaga teases an explanation behind what went wrong between she and pop icon Madonna. The snippet, posted as part of a series of teasers for her upcoming Netflix documentary Gaga, 5'2", shows the singer, 31, candidly discussing the material girl. The thing with, like, me and Madonna, for example, is that I admired her always. And I still admire her no matter what she may think of me, the blonde tells a friend as they sit on the floor. The clip ends with Gaga, born Stefani Jo and Angelina Germanata saying, the only thing that really bothers me about her is. Truly a tease, fans will have to wait until the documentary is released to Netflix on September 22nd. When Gaga first burst on the music scene, she and Madonna seemed chummy, posing together at a 2009 Marc Jacobs fashion show. Of the experience, Gaga told Extra, I love Madonna, she's even more wonderful in person than I had imagined. She's such a beautiful woman. The ladies even went on to have a pretend catfight for a skit on Saturday Night Live in October of the same year. Gaga gushed of working with her idol, Madonna's such a pleasure to work with and she's so wonderfully amazing. We had a blast. We were laughing. It was great too because it was our idea to do the whole fight scene. We thought it would be funny to answer the obvious question that everyone would be wondering. And we get along famously. However, relations between the pair went south after Gaga was accused of copying Madonna's song Express Yourself on her 2011 single Born This Way. When asked by ABC News about the similarities, which were pointed out by many fans on the internet, Madge called the singer reductive. Is that good? Reporter Cynthia McFadden shot back to the short answer. Look it up, the pop queen responded with a sly smile while taking a sip from her teacup. Madonna went on to mash up Born This Way with her own 1989 hit that Gaga was accused of copying on her MDNA tour in 2012. The ladies appeared to kiss and make up the following year when they were spotted posing together at the Met Gala in a social media photo with Katy Perry, seemingly attempting to prove there was harmony in the pop diva land. However, in 2016 when Beats 1 radio DJ Zayn Lowe implied to Gaga that she and Madonna had very similar background stories, Gaga seemed annoyed by the comparison that has followed her through her career. Madonna and I are very different. I wouldn't make that comparison at all. I don't mean to disrespect Madonna. She's a nice lady. And she's had a fantastic huge career she's the biggest pop star of all time. But I play a lot of instruments, I write all my own music. I spend hours and hours a day in the studio. I'm a producer, I'm a writer. What I do is different. I'm not just rehearsing over and over again to put on a show she stated dryly. Based on the clips posted so far, Gaga, 5'2 will document the past few months for the superstar, including her Emmy Award-nominated Super Bowl halftime performance in February. In an audio clip posted to Instagram, she tells fans, I have seen a few short clips of the documentary but I have decided to not watch it all the way through, or most of it for that matter, because I can't be objective about myself so you'll see it before I do. One clip shows the singer, who stated in 2010 she had tested borderline positive for lupus, in a doctor's office. A doctor, whose face is not shown, tells Gaga, so phase one, is let's try to get out of this intense pain that's in your face. Though it is not confirmed, it is possible Gaga could be suffering from peripheral neuropathies, which is a lupus-adjacent illness that causes pain of the face. Lupus runs in the singer's family, her aunt Joanne suffered from the disease. Gaga named her latest record Joanne in tribute to her father Joe's sister, who died in 1974 at the age of 19, before Gaga was born in 1986. Despite all of her personal success, she has also faced a few devastating personal lows. In July of 2016 she confirmed that she and fiancé actor Taylor Kinney had ended their engagement, they began dating after he starred in her 2011 music video UNI. In May of this year, 
her close friend and executive director Sonia N. Durham died of breast cancer. Gaga addresses loneliness in another clip that shows her underwater fully dressed. Her voice can be heard from a conversation with a friend which is played over the dramatic footage, I'm alone Brandon, every night. All of these people will leave. And I'll be alone. I go from everyone touching me all day and talking at me all day to total silence. Despite the confession, she is reported to be dating agent Christian Carino, who has she been spotted with frequently since they were spotted kissing before they took the stage at the Super Bowl in February.